A few of my patients have asked, can smoking marijuana really lower eye pressure for glaucoma? If you have been diagnosed with glaucoma and are curious about whether cannabis can effectively reduce eye pressure, this is the video for you. In this video, I'll delve into the scientific evidence surrounding cannabis and its effects on eye pressure. I'll explain whether marijuana can be an effective alternative treatment for glaucoma. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Audrey Tai, a board certified and a fellowship trained refractive and cataract surgeon, ophthalmologist, and cornea specialist. Welcome back to eye channel by eye surgeon be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on eye health and eye surgery back in the 1970s there was an interesting case where a patient noticed that the halos he saw around lights a common symptom of increased eye pressure disappeared when he smoked marijuana this led to him obtaining legal permission from the courts to use marijuana for his glaucoma despite the fact that cannabis products are currently legal for recreational or medical use in 40 states there have been very few well-designed studies investigating the effects of cannabis on eye pressure, also known as intraocular pressure or IOP. The FDA classifies cannabis as a Schedule 1 drug alongside substances like heroin, which places many restrictions on scientific research involving cannabis. So we have limited clinical data on cannabis' effects on eye pressure and glaucoma. A few non-controlled studies from the 1970s and 1980s indicated that marijuana could lower eye pressure by by around 25% for 2 to 4 hours in 60 to 65% of the healthy study subjects. Conversely, a few uncontrolled studies from the 1980s found that THC eye drops did not lower eye pressure in the study subjects. Additionally, some studies suggested that low doses of CBD did not lower eye pressure. A randomized controlled study published in the Journal of Glaucoma in 2006 showed that between 2 to 4 hours after application, a 5 mg dose of Delta 9 THC placed under the tongue reduced the eye pressure temporarily, while a 20 mg dose of CBD did not reduce eye pressure. And interestingly, a 40 mg dose of CBD actually produced a transient increase in eye pressure. In 2022, a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study conducted at University of California, Irvine showed that THC could lower eye pressure for up to three hours. Given the mixed results from the studies, the question remains, should you smoke marijuana to lower your eye pressure for glaucoma? I would advise my patients that the eye pressure lowering effect of marijuana isn't well studied. And most studies suggest that this effect only lasts for two to three hours after smoking. Most importantly, the exact dosage required to achieve the desired reduction in eye pressure remains uncertain. Also, to effectively treat glaucoma, the eye pressure lowering effect must be consistent and sustained throughout the day to prevent optic nerve damage from high eye pressure. Lowering eye pressure for just a couple of hours at a time is unlikely to achieve the long-term control needed for to treat glaucoma. That's why we ophthalmologists sometimes monitor eye pressure over a 24-hour period to assess the effectiveness of glaucoma treatment for a specific patient. Until more data becomes available regarding cannabis and eye pressure changes, it's crucial to use your prescribed glaucoma eye drop consistently if you're prescribed one. And if you have undergone SLT glaucoma laser surgery, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery or mix, or any other types of glaucoma surgeries, it is important to have regular eye pressure checks with your eye doctor to make sure any changes of your eye pressure or glaucoma testing results are picked up right away. You can learn more about glaucoma treatments in this video. There are also other lifestyle changes you can implement into your daily routine to prevent increasing eye pressure. To learn more about how to prevent glaucoma naturally, you can check out this video. Let me know in the comments below what glaucoma treatment are you currently on now and what do you think about using marijuana to lower eye pressure. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have learned anything new, then please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel to help me bring you more videos about eye health and eye surgery. You can also follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai to learn more about my practice. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.